All right, how's it going? I got a roof on this place. It's a crap roof. It's just kind of there, but it's a roof. It'll keep me dry for right now. And I got most of our junk over here. Everything is still unsorted and messy as hell. So don't expect anything organized, but it's there. Got all the important bits back here and set up and ready to go. And today we're going to work on getting a thermometer. And if you look in the book, we now have for the mercury a pretty good explanation of all the different ways that you can get cinnabar which includes Greg's new way that he just added. It hasn't been released yet because of us complaining so much about these vanilla veins and the fact that they give us a what I consider to be a false positive for redstone. We can now use a club on vanilla redstone ore and get cinnabar dust so if you've been unlucky and you haven't found an actual vein for redstone slash cinnabar which by the way if it's a cinnabar vein as apparently now Greg has informed us he considers it it has to be in comatite that yellow pissy looking block it'll have magnezite if it's up high enough it'll have magnezite on the top should have some pyrite in it uh actually i should be able to see it in this thing where is the there it is Okay, so that's small, which can be found in the nether. I was actually, until this change I was just talking about came in, that's where I was going to go get my cinnabar, was in the nether. And ignore that one. That's garbage. And this is... I don't even know what that is. Or layer stone, or name cinnabar height. 8 to 24, this is what I want, which is where the cinnabar is in there. I don't know of this one. I've never seen this one. If that one exists, congratulations, but this is the one I know. The thing is, this doesn't show the redstone and the comatite and the pyrite in it. Unless Greg changed something again, because damn it, he keeps changing shit. But yeah, it has to be down low, below 32. And I found it, if you find it up near 32, you'll usually have comet or, uh, magnesite in with it. It'll be magnesite, pyrite, redstone, and cinnabar. If you find it down lower, It'll just be the redstone and the, uh, I actually don't know where I'm going. Hold on. Uh, this one. That's where I'm going. That way. But yeah, it'll just be the redstone and the cinnabar if you get down too low. I've actually found it right at bedrock. But, uh, yeah, there's small cinnabar in the nether if you really need it. You can always go in there. But this edition, which, by the way, after today's video, I'm going to be putting out an update to the pack. That will have all these changes for the book. And will have the snapshot that has this fix on it. 
so you guys can do this the same way that I'm doing it right now. So we had in the, I think it was in the live stream, found this vanilla type vein. Aha, you missed me, bitch. Oh, this is going to be bad. Nope. Nope. Eh, that's a whole lot of stuff right on the hole I need to get down. Hmm. <laughs> this is why I should not have stopped during the day. I should have moved my butt and got over here. Okay, we're making a run for it. Haha. -ha. Screw you, bitches. Drop before the creeper blows. <laughs> I got him. Now somebody's going to follow me down and shoot me in my butt. But anyways, I do believe it was a live stream. We found this. And I actually made a diamond pickaxe because I found three diamonds in here. Which apparently because I made a vanilla diamond pickaxe. Because I could find diamonds in this so easily Greg has reduced the amount of diamonds that will spawn in this vein now but anyways what we're actually here for is redstone ore if we mine it with a club we get a cinnamon cinnabar dust make sure you use the right redstone this has to be a quality two I'm using black granite now if we would actually do it with a pickaxe we will get the regular redstone dust as normal and if we pull out a hammer from our pack we can also hammer this and it will give us four crushed now if we had iron which is what we're getting ready to make next we'll probably do that on Monday uh, we could wash this and get a chance at pure cinnabar ore. But as you can see, you have one out of nine chance at tiny purified. Now it does have nine chances, but it's a 3% chance. So chances are you're going to get one of these every few ore. So it's probably going to take a few stacks. So it's kind of one of those, do you want to do a lot of washing to save yourself redstone? Or do you just want to get the cinnabar? Because if you don't want to be wasteful, then you should wash all of this to try to get the 27. Yeah, 27 small or tiny purified cinnabar that you're going to need because you need three cinnabar for what we're getting ready to do if you say well i don't want to hand wash you know three stacks of cinnabar or redstone and there's enough redstone in the world then i'm just going to use a club get me the cinnabar i need because there's always going to be enough redstone here. Which you're right. There's tons of redstone. <coughs> and I'm, I've got 12 crushed redstone here. i got 5 regular. I'm actually going to... We haven't gotten a fortune pick yet. Or silk touch. But we're going to need... A pretty good amount of redstone so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some this way while we're here just so I have some on me 38 42 that'll work that'll give me enough all right so I'm gonna make the trip back to the house now that we've had our little discussion here um, and we'll get this thermometer made but 
if you find the comatite, this is the block you would need, just lower than where I'm at. Um, if you find that, there's a good chance, like with every vein, there's going to be small ones around the top. You won't even have to use the actual ore. And now run before everything hits me. Because I'm sure they didn't despawn. Oh, nope. Go away. I need to eat. I need to eat bad. I need to get food. I need to get away from that skeleton. Okay, got away from that skeleton. I was going to cut this part, but you never know if I'm going to die, so. I know how much you guys enjoy watching me die. So let's run my ass back over here. I'm going to keep my eye out for skeletons. Give me a few of these. I have no food. Hey, look, those are cranberries. We found another bush biome thing. The one I really want to find is blueberry, though. Because blueberry we can use for blue dye instead of having to use lapis. For if and when we need blue dye, that is. So blueberry is a nice one to find. Okay, away from the creeper. Get our butts to home. That is a nice clay patch right there. Uh, nope, nope, nope. We'll go this way. No skeleton for me today. Oh, excuse me, buddy. Hey, look, another big clay patch. Whoa, that's a creeper. He didn't blow, though. I got this. I'm good. Hey, get off my tree. Hey, look. A rubber tree grew. But this one doesn't have a hole on it. I checked it already. And that one doesn't either. So I'm going to have to cut both of them down to try to get me a rubber spot. Okay, so three cinnabar. We can put that right in here, except I like to use our very inefficient brick burning box that I put in a, let's throw that in there. Where did I put it? I put it in one of these boxes. This is why I can never find anything because I'm so unorganized. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. We're going to put that right there. I like this one because it's inefficient. It's going to waste a bunch of heat. And I honestly want it to do so. Because we need so little heat to actually get the cinnabar that we need turned into mercury. So, that... And we'll take our three cinnabar here and plop them in there. If you were using the crushed cinnabar, you would want to throw it in just like what I do with the redstone here. Um, throw it in, pull out the stone first. But since we're using dust, we don't have to worry about that. If you're doing purified, there is no stone, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so we've got, we actually need another set of bottles, because we used all of our bottles last time, setting up that glue, so I do not have any more bottles left, but while that is cooking up, we're going to make a piston. Since we have our redstone here, 
Ah, crap. We're going to make a piston in a minute. I'll be right back. I forgot something over at the old cave. All right, back here at the old cave, and there's a copper ingot and a lead ingot. This is a little bit that I haven't gotten back yet. I will make a few more trips to get the rest of this later. And while we're here, since my... tree doesn't have a spot I'll grab a little bit of resin because we're gonna need that so piston is what we're needing and we can use man of steel iron ironwood titanium bronze yep that's what I thought I thought that that iron ingot was a bronze ingot, and it's not. So we got to make a bronze ingot. Okay. I knew I couldn't use copper, but I thought that was bronze. So I came all the way over here to get that, and well, it's the wrong ingot. You ingot. All right, be back when we get back home. All right, made it back home. Let's get our bottles made here. All right, and now we can get our cinnabar done. The only thing is with the way I have this one set up, I can't see very well. So we're gonna come up over here so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Now we can light that. And whoop, there we go. We have a mercury bottle. And yes, be safe. Keep all three glass bottles in your inventory. That way the mercury bottle will go somewhere else. So you don't accidentally drink it like Greg did the first time we made it on the server where he played with us. Because you will get mercury poison and die. That was still so funny. One of these days I've got to find that stream where he did that. Because <clears throat> damn it, everything else goes in the epic bear fails. We need that one for a epic Greg fail. <coughs> Anyways, that gives us our mercury. So now we can pop this over here. Because now we need to get us a copper plate. I have plenty of bronze stuff. I do not have copper things. So we need to get one of them made. And oh, while we're here, let's discuss arrowheads real quick. So you guys have seen me use a file to file a flint into flint arrowheads well we can now nap our flint arrowheads by using a rock and a piece of flint and it'll give us four of them and we can now take our file and if i can figure out where i put all the rest of my flint here, you hold that for a second. You can now do the flint and file, and it gives you six of them. But this is a cautionary tale because you may not want to do all of your arrows as flint arrows. Because if you shoot a creeper with a flint arrow, it's going to burn, blow up, burn up. It's going to blow up. It's going to light, you're going to light its fuse and it's going to go boom. So you may want to use flint and make a regular arrow rather than make flint arrow heads. But there are also gem, chip gems. You can use those to make your arrows as well. And those have implosion, which does extra damage to creepers, doesn't blow them up. By the way, Greg has made these headless arrows 
now you can't just do this. You actually have to make a headless arrow first, which will also drop from skeletons. That's why I have so many of them. And then you take that and your arrows, you put them together. And I'm going to go ahead and make all of those into the flint ones. And then I'm going to make seven more regular ones for use of creepers. And if I remember correctly, this goes in order. So this should be the first one to get shot. That should be the second set to get shot. But I'm not completely positive. Um, if I shoot that, we have 8 and 9. I pick that back up. We have 8 and 10. So that shot the flint one. We turn it this way. That went sideways. Um, that didn't do anything. You picked it up. 8 and 9. Okay, for some reason, it's going for the flint ones first. Put these way down here. Okay, now that looked like it's... No, nope, that was a flint one too. Alright. Um, can we put them down here and shoot them? No, it is guaranteeing to go to that flint one. No matter where. So one thing I like about 7 Days to Die where we can hit R and pick which arrow we want... Seriously doubt Greg's adding us anything like that, but it would be nice if we could choose. There you are. Noisy ass. It would be really nice if we had a way of determining which arrows got shot. Okay. Um, give me a minute. I've got to get rid of some of this noise out here so we need something done. With it being nighttime, these zombies are just going to keep a coming and keep being annoying. So, be right back and we'll get some proper work done. As soon as I paused it, zombies went away. They knew I was going to kill them. Alright, so we're going to put this here. We have our plate mold there. And we have a bolt mold over there. We're going to use that for something else. We're going to drop these nine copper in here first. Because we need to make a copper plate. And I just wasted those because I didn't put any fuel in there yet. Uh, let's just use bark. Not positive we're going to be able to do this with just bark, but oh hey, I got three matches left. I don't want to use up my lignite and stuff for just one copper plate. This should be pretty quick. There we go. Now I can just keep. We're speeding this in here. And I don't have a gravel or sand to put down there. Which I need to get. I do have cobble. I'll use it. I just don't like cobble because it takes pickaxe to break it. But that's part of what we're doing today. That's why we need a piston. We're going to make a manual shutoff for this thing. Oh, there we go. That's our copper. So that didn't even take one stack. All right, and that should burn out very quick. There is our copper plate. And I'm not even going to waste my uh, durability on my pincers. Uh, try to sneak through here and not touch that crucible so I don't burn. There we go, that should be cool. Alright, so now what we need is a copper plate. We need four glass. 
Where is my... Where's my sand? Throw that back in there. I don't need that. My sand should be, like, right there. Hmm. Am I losing my mind? My sand was right there. There it is. Okay, we're going to need four glass. And the last part we're going to need is a red flower. So I've got to go find me a red flower, which this is a great time of day to be doing so. Give me that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Batman on the run. Oop, over there. I need to eat when I get in here. There we go. Alright. We're going to take care of this uh, madhouse I have outside soon enough. Don't worry. So, we have our poppy. We can do that. We can also juice it if we choose to. And when we juice it, there's a chance of getting a plant remain from it. But then you can get a bottled flower dye. Either one will work for what we're currently doing. I just like the idea of pulling the dye out of it like that. But we need those on either end. We need the mercury in the center. And then the glass like a so. Alright, what I do wrong? It's glass panes. Because of course it is. Dumbass. Alright, well I could pour it, but... What does glass melt at? Melts at 1200. Yeah, screw it. We're gonna melt it. Boop. And for this, I'm going to get the pincers because I need to pull out more than one. So each thing of glass or sand equals nine. So just throwing one sand in or one glass in will get you nine panes. So there's the four we actually need. I'll pour the rest out of there. We can use these for magnifying glasses if we need. But now, ignore my noisy neighbors burning up out here. There is our thermometer. Hey, you're noisy. Die already. You, no more noise. Thank you. Alright. Now we can have peace and quiet. Alright, so I don't need these anymore. We now have our thermometer. Which, by the way, you can just click on the crucible. It'll tell you what the heat is. That's what we're going to be using it for right now. Eventually, we will be turning this into a thermo sensor. But for that, we need a double tin alloy plate and some red fine wire. And this double tin alloy plate is made from tin and iron in the crucible so we got to get iron done first and we're going to do that tomorrow but we have another thing we want to do today so this should be done now we can get our cookie because we completed it on this one 
And then that also gives us our Quicksilver thermometer. So we can get our cookie that way. And I think that gives us two cookies. Yep, that gives us two cookies. He did not have us choose a cookie. He needs to fix that. Although I like having an extra cookie. Speaking of, I'm a little low on mm, cookie. All right, so we got both of those done. Like I said, we're going to work on this next, but we have to get these two things done. But I want to get an advanced crafting table. I love it. I need it. It's got to be done. So we have... That's one unit of copper. And that'll be two units of copper. And then that will be three units of copper. If they would get in the crucible. Okay. That and that. Except now we need to... My shovel... We need to get the stone out of there, and there should be two. Oops. I only wanted to take one of those out of there, but okay, fine. We'll do it this way. So, 27 at three units of copper, which is what we need in there. And then a tin. That will make us four bronze. And for our advanced crafting table, we need four plates. I already have one, but we need screws. So we got to make bolts. And I have this little bit of bronze scrap here. So we can throw that in there, and that'll give us the ingot we need for our piston. So, give me my ingot mold. And we'll take this off. And we'll put this here. And we'll put that there. And we'll put in our thing there. Now, so I don't have to click each one of these. And they will automatically pour on their own. I'm going to set this one, that one, that one to auto pour. Um, I need it with redstone though. That's the problem. Yeah, damn it. Forgot. I do have one bronze in there, but I'm also making bronze. So the tin's going to pour. Can't do it. Damn it. I'm trying to rush things. All right. Let's get this out of here. We've got too much in there to be using that. So now let's get us some um, lignite. I could use this, but I don't think you can break it. Can you make this in the nuggets? Oh, we can. Hmm, let's try this. Let's get like... Yeah, let's get like a stack of these, make it into nuggets. And let's see how well this works. Because I've never used peat nuggets. Yeah, let's try it. Now since this burns relatively close to coal, this is going to be a little bit longer burning than lignite but it shouldn't be too bad and we've got a bronze plate here we can always throw that in if we need to to cool it down afterwards so there's our tin now we just need to wait for it to turn to orange and we can check our heat. See, we're only at 613 right now. By the way, there's no durability on this. 
You can literally spam click this thing all you want and watch it go up almost degree by degree. But we're needing to get to bronze, which is uh, 1357. So we've got a little bit here. But it's really nice having this thermometer just so you can check and go, okay, we're not quite there yet. Okay, a thousand, we're about 300 off. Now we're down to 200. Okay, we're at 1,200. I'm going to shut that off. And let's see when it burns out on us. 1,287. Okay, we burned out right there at 1,287. I'm going to throw just this one nugget in. And let's see if that does it. 80, 13. Oh, and yeah, once you hit 13, you can't pick it up with a pickaxe anymore. This would blow up if I tried to break it. 1327, huh? All right. So this isn't too bad. That gave us about 100 heat. Now I'm probably going to need actually two of these now. Because I have to make a way of burning this thing, or lighting this thing real quick. And it's going to lose its heat. There we go. 1287, 1297, 1320... There we go, there's our bronze. And we shouldn't have to turn it off because it should automatically do it just like that because it doesn't have fuel. So let's get all the things. We need four of these. We're gonna have to pour eight of them. And we need four of them. We shouldn't be able to get anything else there everything else comes out over there all right so first things first I want to get this piston done so let's do that and we need to turn that into a sticky piston and now what we're gonna do is we're going to pull this out, that out, want that block out of there, that out, and we're going to put our sticky piston right there. We're going to put a piece of glass on top of that so we can see what's going on. Try to get out of here without touching that crucible because that's hot and will burn my butt. Now we're going to stick that right there. We're going to put that back above it. Now the one thing with what I'm doing right now is this. We'll get redstone from what I'm doing. So you got to be uh, careful of that. I'm not going to be able to set that one to auto pour with redstone or this lever will literally make it happen but I will do all of my automating on this side if I automate this crucible but there we go an XAR patented manual shut off now we don't have to guess is it still burning we know it's still burning because we can see through it with the glass all right 
So we got that taken care of now. We need our file, which apparently is still in my inventory from earlier. Or I threw it in this box. Threw it in this box. Alright, we need that. We need those. We need two screws. And we need a chest. Let me get some of this stuff thrown into my backpack that I'm not currently needing. Uh, ta -ta -ta. What am I looking for? Chest. Thank you. And we're going to steal one of the many crafting tables I have around here because I don't need them. I should have taken this one because this is the one we're going to use. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And we're going to do that. And I'm going to throw it all on the floor. And grab my... Hello? Screwdriver. That's right. Didn't make a screwdriver. I have a pocket tool. I was like, wait a minute. There's no screwdriver in there. All right, switch this over to screwdriver. Now we're going to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. We're going to do that all again. Advanced crafting table. By the way, there is a huge array of ones that you can make. I just make bronze because it's easy I've got the material anyways but you can make it out of gold you can make it out of electrum you can make it out of brass um, you can make it out of bronze which we just did you can make it out of Constantine there's tons of them you can make so and the material is just fashion really doesn't matter but we've got storage here in the bottom, which I will use for my glass bottles and glass for the moment. My extra bolts. And you have the top. You have storage here that will be pulled into here. It'll also pull from down here. If you have it down there, fill buckets or fill slots for buckets. I use it to put my tools in. Um, but we'll go over the bucket filling thing later uh, this is to move everything out of here so from here to there if there isn't room here it'll put it down here and then this will allow automation to extract from the crafting grid I don't think that button actually does anything I never use that button if it actually you can't even really click it so I don't know that it does anything if it does Greg can tell me but I have no idea I've never used it there's also a thing where you can you got to be careful with your screwdriver because 4x4 diversity filter on and off and Greg's tried to explain to me what that is. I think it's this grid. And if you can automate things into this grid. So like if the diversity is turned on. I do believe you can't automate like that. You wouldn't be able to have two stacks of string. It would be one stack of string. But that's also automatic not manual so like I would be able to do this but if I took a hopper which I can actually we can try this real quick I can steal the hopper from down here for just a moment love the fact that that does that now if I do that I'll put a dirt right there. And I do this. See, there's only one dirt. 
allowed in the top. So now I'm guessing all the rest of it is down here. Alright, so now if we turn on the turn the filter off. Now we got just one dirt there. And we do this. Now it goes up there. So if you were trying to automate things into here and you didn't want it, you wanted to make sure you had a spot for each thing to go into, I guess that's what you would use this for. So all your excess would go down there. You'd only ever have the stack on the top. It's nothing I've really ever used, obviously, since I didn't actually understand it until just a little while ago and actually you know what give me that back we're gonna try this out I really want to know if that button works I've really never used it all right so if I do this I do that and then we put together let's do um, I got any sticks around here? That's dirt. That's not what I want. Beams, planks. Let's see. Do this. Do that. Alright. So if I do this. That gives me a lever. If I do that, it pulled the sticks out of there. Oh. Okay. So it does work. It just does something that I didn't expect it to do. I expected it to pull out what was there to be crafted. And it doesn't. It pulls out what you have in here. So if you have a hopper underneath it, then you could send that into a chest and it would just be able to dump like whatever you had here. So if I did that and I said, okay, well, I've got the lever I want, so just dump that shit. It's like a flush on your toilet. You just flushing everything out. I don't I'm never going to need that again. Send it off to be autumn or uh, stored someplace else. It's a flush button. Greg added a flush lever to the crafting table. Okay. Maybe I can actually make a uh, tutorial for the table at some point since I kind of know what they do now. This is a blueberry blueprint thing. Um, we'll get into that later. Basically, make a blueprint of something so it'll pull from over here rather than you having to set it up. Can extract items you drop in there. So if I put this here, that hopper would be able to pull from there because it can't pull from there. And this is absolutely just a parking slot. You can literally just throw anything in that slot. Nothing can touch it. Except for you, obviously. But I love this table. I will. And the main reason why I love it is because I can put something in it and it stays there and don't flop on the ground. I hate regular crafting tables. <coughs> I don't like all my shit getting thrown on the ground because I forget something. Because I always forget something. And to my stone quarry over here. All right, so I think we have screwed around long enough today. I'm going to put my crucible setup back here. And in the next one, we're going to make our first iron. Luckily, we have some black sand. Hi, butthead. Luckily, we have some black sand right over there. And that's what we're going to be using to make our iron. Oh. 
he died, I didn't need it. But yeah, that right there, that's our black sand. And that's what we're going to be using to make our iron. So I will see you guys in the next one. Um, we will be having another live stream on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, probably going and digging up some of that uh, black sand for our stream. Or for our recording. And doing some more work. Uh, getting the path from here to there. Getting our path over there to our copper and our tin vein properly. Possibly working on getting us one going that way to some of our veins that we know we're going to need that direction. Just some regular streamy type things. So, I hope you guys are enjoying. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or in Discord. Hit the buttons. Do the things. See you guys later. Have a good day.